Underdog Fantasy is the best and easiest place to play fantasy sports and their pick'em game. Sign up now with code Poodle and you'll double your first deposit up to $100 in bonus cash when you make your first deposit of $10 or more. It's simple. Deposit $100, get $100 free. Good luck and have fun. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden 24 franchise mode video and today we're going to be going over how to relocate and rebuild your stadium in Madden 24. Before we get into the video guys, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, goes a long way to helping out the channel. Comment down below, let me know what your favorite relocation team and stadium design is, and make sure to subscribe if you have not already, we've been making videos all year. And make sure to check out Underdog Fantasy down below in the description, my link will be there as well as my code. If you use that, you can get your first deposit match up to $100 on Underdog. Good luck. So let me show you how to do this. So I did a few testings to see if you could only do it like week one, preseason only. So far, it seems like you can do it any week of the preseason, you can do it any time of the reg season, so that is good to know i want to make sure it wasn't one of those one-off things but let me show you guys where this is if you didn't know where it was so if you scroll on down all the way to manage team by the way this is a pretty crowded menu first week of the season always like that manage team manage your stadium and relocate your team these are going to be the this is going to be the spot for all relocation stuff i personally am a little iffy about relocating i'm one of those like guys that just love everything authentic like the you know if i'm the Panthers, i want i want their jerseys i want their logo but a lot of people love to relocate, especially if you do one of your offline franchises where you're just messing around. So let's head on into there. So if you head on into there, you're going to be able to see the manage team and relocate everything right here. Rebuild stadium, relocate. You see the Twitter feed on the side. So Bank of America Stadium, 28 years old. One of the older stadiums, not the oldest, but it's on the older side, I would say. That's going back to the, what is it, the 90s? So definitely interesting. So we could rebuild or relocate. Let's start with relocate for the time being. You click on that and it takes you to the screen. So... You can just click around if you use your left stick and your d-pad you can just go around so you have fan interest which is important now remember in old magic you can only do this in gm mode you can now do it in coach mode which is pretty interesting it makes it a lot easier because some people don't want to be the gm and fan interest is important because this plays a part in the whole uh, gm scheme if you are being a gm so let's say new mexico fan interest is only four star yellow california is only five star or five box alaska is a three hawaii is a five uh, what is this Melbourne Australia so you can really go all over the place now they added a bunch of Tokyo Paris London Dublin Montreal Toronto Brooklyn that's actually pretty cool Brooklyn Virginia Beach Canton uh, Canton's a six star which is awesome for your fans I, I, I'm assuming that means in part of selling things remember the market size is smaller though which does play a role personality hardcore market size large personality front runner so keep market size and personality in mind if you are playing gym mode in terms of coach I don't think it matters as much but there's so many different places. I mean, you can do this all day. San Juan, Puerto Rico, Rio, Rio de Janeiro, Buenos Aires, uh, Mexico City, San Antonio, Austin, Houston, Albuquerque, Salt Lake City. The list goes on and on. So we're going to go for the sake of this. I want to go to Brooklyn. That was one of the ones that stood out to me. Uh, just I'm from New York. So Brooklyn right there. Click on that. So fan interest. Choose, your, choose to carry your namesake to a new city. So would I rather be the Panthers, the Brooklyn Panthers, or would I rather be the uh, Brooklyn Antlers, Armadillos, Aviators, Bisons, Black Knights, Blues, Bulls, Caps. The list goes on and on and on. There is a lot of options. So you can go through and pick here. Uh, me personally, I'd rather keep the namesake because that's kind of like the brand for me. But you can change whatever you want. So you continue to click A. And when you do this, you can all you also end up choosing a new stadium, it seems like. So something to note here is that it seemed like you were able to choose a new stadium without relocating, but if you relocate, you obviously need a new stadium, right? So that is a separate setting, which I will go through after, which you can change your stadium, but stay in this spot. This is going to be changing your stadium, but leaving, this is going to be leaving the spot and changing your stadium. So there's a cost associated with this. Again, if you're not in GM mode, it doesn't matter. If you are in a GM mode, you do want to pay attention to the fan interest, the personality type. You want to focus on the seating capacity, the suites, the stadium size, the funding, the weekly cost. See, like if you go out, this one's a 0.14 million weekly cost. There's a 0.16. You have some that are 0.9. You have a 0.9. You have a point. Uh, was that it? Okay, those are all the options. So keep that in mind if you are doing gem mode. I'm a coach. I'm doing coach mode. Doesn't really matter to me, but for a lot of you guys, it might. Uh, we're not looking at anything above 100. 100. We're not looking at anything that's above a uh, 1 billion, but everything seems to be at least above. 0.7 so it's all it's all relatively close in cost but in gem mode it's gonna matter so let's go with the futuristic stadium here you click a and then right here you can see the brooklyn new york panthers stadium it is all done you can no longer relocate or rebuild at this time there's probably going to be a limit here so let me go sim across an entire season and see where it brings you and if you're allowed to then relocate it all right, so we've officially simmed an entire season. It's time to see if relocation and all this stuff works a season later. It did not work with a simple one advance. 
Now, if we load into this managed team, you can officially rebuild and relocate again. So that is interesting. I don't like the idea of anyone in my league relocating at all, let alone once every year. Might get a little frustrating. May want to put restrictions on that. If you're just doing for fun, doesn't matter. So you can, in fact, relocate again if you do not like that location. So you do have to finish a season. So that's not horrible. Could take some time if you don't like what you did. Now, if you want to just rebuild the stadium, which I'm going to show you guys now, you click into rebuild and it's simple as just going through and picking another stadium. So let's say you didn't like the way your stadium looked and you want to go ahead and change it. Let's go with the basic Spear Stadium. Spear, Sphere. So I did that. The stadium changed. We're back to zero years old but now you cannot relocate again. So even if you just rebuild that you can't rebuild and relocate, you have to relocate and rebuild at the same time. If you do not, and you only do rebuild, you're locked for another year. So keep that in mind. If you relocate, you can do a stadium and switch your team at the same time. If you just do rebuild, you're locked from relocating for a year. So make sure you do keep that in mind. That is something that's going to play a pretty big role if you do want to get this done. I actually love the fact you can bring your namesake over. That is so important to me because, for instance, the New York Giants, let's say I'm a Giants fan, right? So if I want to be the New York Giants, but I want to move into New York, I can move into Brooklyn, the Brooklyn Giants. Like, that'd be kind of interesting to do. Like, I might actually like that idea of the Brooklyn Jets, right? It sounds weird. Uh, moving a team that I never liked before, like, let's just say the Houston Texans. If I don't want them in Houston, I could be the Brooklyn Texans. Like, I think that's cool. I like to keep the jerseys, the namesake, and everything. What I don't like is usually changing to those random mutt-looking jerseys. But I think this is really cool. I think the relocation feature is so much better than it's been in your past. And I never knew if anyone really cared about relocation. It turns out there's a pretty big fan base for relocating, so this is definitely important. I hope this helped you guys out in case you didn't know where it was. It's under Managed Team, which... I had originally in the beta clicked manage team like 25 times to change my roster. I didn't realize that manage team is literally like your team and your namesake and the manage roster was different. I just kept going to manage, manage, manage because that's what I've always had been used to seeing. So manage team right there. It's so simple to do. They made it super simple. Pick a namesake. You pick where you're going across the map, which I find super intuitive and cool. I love that they added the international. What I really love about the international is this. If you are an international player, you know, it kind of sucks if you live in London or you live in Dublin or you live in uh, Montreal or you live anywhere else in the world and you're playing Madden and it's all America, you know, North America based. Now, you know, you live in Tokyo. That's awesome. You get to like, you know, represent your own city like that is so big for international players. I'm very excited to see that feature be added because that would just, you know, that kind of be that kind of be weird. You know, you're living in Tokyo and you got to only focus in North America. This actually shows some love to international fans, allows you to play some games in Tokyo. I wonder how they do, how they like kind of manage the outskirts look when it loads into the game. Does it show like some kind of, do they actually have some kind of city aspect around it? That'd be awesome. But I think, I think relocations went a long way. I think it used to be kind of useless and I didn't care for it. I do definitely think it's cool because you can keep the namesake now. Definitely huge. And just the way they set it up, it's so simple to do. You can do it in coach mode now, which was not really doable before. But guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you haven't already, check out some of my other videos. I have a ton of good franchise tips up on the channel. You'll see it in the end screen, in the outro. And if not, you should see it recommended. And if you don't click on the channel, make sure to subscribe for more videos. I'm going to be doing tips all year. And I think they're pretty useful. So make sure you check them out. Give this video a big thumbs up. It helps a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below your favorite relocation team. Where do you plan on relocating first? Uh, do you like the feature? And if you haven't already, check out Underdog down below. My link will be there as I stated earlier. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.